Oi oi, in today's video I'm talking about how to improve, how to build your self-confidence, self-worth and self-esteem specifically as a man. So let's talk about the reason you feel this way. Let's talk about the reason why low confidence, why you have low confidence, why you struggle around people, you are socially inhibited, you're at a party, or maybe you don't get invited to parties, who knows. Uh, just generally speaking, around people you have a sense of anxiety, maybe social anxiety. Maybe this thing has been happening for a while. You know full well that who you truly are, you're not bringing it to the surface. You don't feel connected to people. You might struggle with a bit of loneliness. You might struggle with women. Sorry, I know I'm going in heavy, but I see this all the time and I wanna just outline the problem. But the feeling is that if you were more confident, if you were more able to fully embody who you really were and be yourself unashamedly in an unapologetic way around other people, and in your, maybe in your work and your career, life would be undeniably better for you. And I would agree with you. But why does this happen in the first place? I've boiled it down to a simple abbreviation. C-I-B-I-L, Sybil. This stands for conditioning, isolation, beliefs, inaction, and lifestyle. Conditioning means the experiences you've had and the messages that you've received from your parents, your peers, other people at school, and your professors, your teachers as well. So throughout your life, you've experienced certain messages. And if you're struggling with low self-worth and low self-confidence, you've received messages in some form that who you truly are is not okay, broken, screwed up in some fundamental way and deserves to stay hidden and doesn't deserve the same level of love and peace and belonging and happiness as just other people. The second thing is isolation. When I start working with a guy who struggles with confidence, struggle with, with anxiety and social connections, what I often find is they're pretty isolated. They might actually have friends, they might have people around them or not, but even if they did, they are not fully revealing themselves in a vulnerable and authentic way way. Now remember, the things that we keep hidden from other people, and especially ourselves, they don't go anywhere. We just put them in this sort of shame closet in the back of our minds. And as long as we keep things in that shame closet, we always sort of have this nagging suspicion in the back of our minds that there's this thing about us that's dark and broken and unacceptable. And if people found this out about us, then we would be unloved, abandoned, rejected, and left alone in the cold, basically. Now, beliefs, they form the foundation of our actions and our emotions. So if we fundamentally believe that if we are going to reveal who we truly are to people and that, that we're gonna be abandoned for that, if we believe that who we are is broken and defective, then that belief, if we never challenge it and we never correct it and we never experience things that contradict it and form a new healthy belief, as long as that corrosive belief sits there, that is gonna be at the root cause of all of your surface level issues. So often guys come to me and they say, I need to improve my social skills. I need to improve the conversation starters or think of new things to say. And I say to them, listen, that might help, but it's like putting a plaster on a shotgun wound. Because as long as you believe deep down that you are unlovable and unworthy of affection and belonging as much as anyone else is, that root cause issue is just gonna, it's just gonna erode any effort you make to improve this. And the next one is inaction, which means to be a dog chasing its tail. You're not taking any other actions in your life you're distracting yourself, you're hiding from your potential, you're hiding from the possibility of rejection, you're giving into your fears by basically hiding from life. You're performing the same actions that you've always performed, you're expecting different results, and in some way you're avoiding doing the thing that would make a big difference in your life. And L stands for lifestyle. Now if you're doing all of the inner work, the journaling, the meditation, that's a good start, but if you're not exercising regularly, if you're not taking care of your nutrition, if you're not sleeping very well, if you're not regularly socializing, then you are fighting an uphill battle no matter what you do. So that is the reason for confidence and low self-worth in guys. Now, how do you fix this? How do you sort this out? I'm gonna give you five tips, one for each of these aspects of the Sybil acronym. 
One, you need to become aware of your past conditioning. You need to become aware of what messages you received from your parents, from your peers and from your professors and from your experiences throughout your life and what those experiences communicated to you. Did they communicate that your needs, your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings, your frame of reference didn't matter? Did, it, did these experiences, did your conditioning, did those messages from those people growing up communicate to you that you are valuable, you're worthy of love, you're capable, you're competent, you have strong potential and that you are fundamentally okay as you are. It is truly important to become aware of this conditioning for greater self-awareness and personal growth down the line. Number two, to deal with the isolation problem, you need to embark upon finding safe, emotionally validating and encouraging people in your life to share yourself with in a vulnerable and authentic way. This could be in the form of friendships, intimate partners, uh, emotional support groups, Facebook groups, whatever the case is, I don't really mind how it is that you do it. But one thing I do want you to remember is you will never become truly confident and you'll never develop true self-worth if you're hiding so much of yourself that you're just terrified of who you really are. and You're terrified of people finding out who you really are. So I want you to take all the things that are in that shame closet that you hide away about yourself and I want you to start one by one removing those things from the shame closet and showing them to people. You might get rejected sometimes, that's part and parcel of human relationships, they're naturally very messy. But one thing you can't do is keep, is keep adding things into the shame closet, because eventually you're just going to feel super disconnected, isolated, and your confidence is going to decrease. Number three, identify your core limiting beliefs, their effects in your life, and then start to challenge them. Now the way you can do this is you can start to take a look at your surface level actions, your automatic sort of negative thoughts that come up, and then follow them to the basement and see what core belief is, uh, is lying at the root of that. So for example, you're around women and you can't talk to women very well. That's the surface level action. And the thought underneath it, the automatic negative thoughts you might be getting in the moment might say, oh my God, um, I look stupid. Oh my God, she's gonna reject me. Oh my God, she's better than me. Oh my God, whatever. Whatever the automatic negative thoughts are, the thoughts that come up that you don't choose. And if you follow that down to the basement, there is usually an I belief about that, which is that I am not attractive to women or I am unworthy of uh, affection or and love and belonging. There's usually some form of core belief that feeds those thoughts and actions from the basement. That can be quite hard to do alone, which is precisely why I run through this with clients in a one-to-one -one setting. Number four, to combat inaction, you need to set goals and take radical, audacious, and bold action. This can be in your career, this can be in your fitness, this can be in your dating life, and this can be with your finances or your hobbies or whatever the case is. But one thing that will build your confidence over time is setting goals, taking steps towards achieving them and achieving them. And over time, you start to build this self-image as someone who can get shit done and someone who can handle whatever comes their way. And number five, fix your lifestyle. Get regular sleep, eight hours or so, however much you need, but get some get solid sleep in. Start exercising, I don't care what it is, running, swimming, martial arts, weightlifting, my preferred favorite. Um, take care of your diet as well. Stop wanking all the time, stop watching too much porn, stop playing too many video games, stop excessively drinking. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life right, but I'm saying that the important thing is, is balance. Right? And we can all too easy, especially in the age of distraction and social media, we can all too easily just fall into this pit of inaction and, and a poor lifestyle and until eventually it just becomes our norm. And bonus tip, meditation and specifically body awareness meditation. Because one of the things about low self-worth, low confidence and fear of rejection and all that stuff is we essentially fear negative feelings. And when you start to develop a strong mindfulness practice which centers around sensory awareness of the body, you start to recognize that feelings, no matter what they are, they just come and go. They're just feelings. They, they don't stay for very long. And as long as you are afraid of feelings, such as the pain of a rejection or whatever, as long as you're afraid of that, that's always gonna make you a little more uh, predisposed to seeing threats and being a bit anxious and on edge. When you can fully inhabit your body, regardless of how it feels, and not freak out about your own sensations that you feel in the body, the more confident you're gonna be in the direct present moment whenever you're around people. If you need any more help, need any more clarification, feel free to send me an email or pop a comment below. 
Hope you enjoyed that video. Take care and stay powerful. Bye.